Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome to the lecture on considerations in aqueous modeling. So, we will talk about the issues and which are considerations which are required in the case of aqueous modeling or water modeling. So, we will talk about the different aspects uh, in this lecture. So, uh, coming to the, uh, the issues or considerations which are required uh, as we have discussed in the past that uh, uh, the first thing is the uh, consideration about the uh, scale factor. So, as you know that uh, you need to have uh, uh, the selection of proper scale. Uh, you have seen that uh, if you try to have the uh, similarity criteria uh, using the Reynolds similarity or the fraud similarity you have the different uh, you know many a times you get uh, uh, if you talk about the uh, uh, you know velocity of the model. So, as compared to velocity in the actual case you will have that uh, in the function of uh, either 1 by lambda or under root lambda. So, if the lambda is the scale factor. So, uh, you know um, uh, now the thing is that uh, um, many a times the both can be satisfied only when the lambda is 1. So, that becomes uh, you know very very uh, expensive means your model has to be of the uh, same size as uh, that of the prototype. So, it will become uh, very very expensive. So, uh, you know so basically in the starting point in a, a physical model investigation is the choice of the appropriate uh, you know geometric scale factor and uh, uh, you will have uh, uh, that basically determines the size of the uh, uh, model uh, vessel. Uh, you know for turbulent flows the spill uh, factor has not to be uh, uh, very very small. Now, as we see that uh, the full scale models uh, uh, if you try to have the uh, uh, try to satisfy both the uh, similarity uh, Reynolds as well as fraud. So, you will have to have the lam lambda is 1 and then in that case uh, you will have uh, the uh, very large uh, model and that will be very very uh, expensive. Then uh, you know uh, when you are talking about the turbulent uh, flow. So, if you take very very small uh, you know uh, uh, scale factor in that case um, it may not represent actually the uh, flow which is uh, taking place. So, that is uh, because that is uh, uh, you know not uh, going to create uh, the uh, you know turbulence enough turbulence inside the uh, tundis. So, because as the uh, vessel size is uh, you know uh, in, uh, decreasing the importance of Reynolds number relative to fraud number is uh, increasing and uh, that is why you will have to have uh, you know the uh, uh, properly you will have to see. Uh, that what should be the actually the uh, scale factor. So, uh, you know once uh, you come to decide about the uh, scale factor then uh, next comes the, uh, the choice of the uh, working fluid. Now, uh, if you talk about the uh, working fluid. So, this is a very important uh, you know uh, consideration because there are many kind of fluid but then you will have to look into those aspects that which is readily available and which satisfies those conditions. So, uh, you know uh, uh, you know water at 290 now it has been found that when you take water which is at 298 K or about uh, 25 degree Celsius that is your normal room temperature. Uh, and if you take the molten steel at 1873 Kelvin 
So, what has been seen that they have nearly the uh, similar uh, kinematic viscosity that is mu by rho and uh, that is why it very much uh, you know uh, you know helps uh, you know ensure that uh, you have the similar flow regime uh, you know established in both the model as well as in the uh, actual tundis. Then uh, also uh, flow phenomena in steel making systems are uh, that is why they are frequently investigated through these water models. So, uh, so water is taken as a very uh, you know uh, most acceptable kind of fluid which is used uh, for the modeling studies in case of the steel making operations. So, uh, there are many reasons for water being selected as the uh, fluid working fluid uh, and um, those reasons are that uh, water is cheap and also it is uh, readily available. So, you can have water at all the places. So, uh, you know that is why uh, uh, it gives you a very good choice to have the water otherwise other things will be costly. Uh, it is uh, convenient to um, work with water because uh, it is uh, non corrosive, uh, it is also neutral and it has many uh, you know of the qualities which make it very very you know uh, good uh, for handling. So, uh, you know you can use it uh, with much of ease and that is why it has a lot of advantage over other fluid. Uh, it has a low capital and operating cost of the model. So, if you are making the model uh, with working fluid as water, then uh, certainly you have uh, the requirement of low capital cost as far as the working fluid is concerned and also you will have uh, uh, low operating cost of uh, the model. Also, uh, this is also one of the very important uh, you know property of the water that uh, you because being, being the transparent uh, if you keep that system if you make the uh, you know uh, physical model with the perspex sheet in that case uh, uh, you know you can have easy visualization of the flow if you have water flowing inside the uh, vessel. So, that uh, you know that is uh, further giving you another added advantage and uh, that is why these are the reasons because of which uh, you are uh, uh, you are taking the water as the uh, most popular uh, you know working fluid. So, in isothermal flow modeling uh, the operating parameters are determined solely uh, from the dynamic similarity criterion while uh, both dynamic and thermal similarity criterion are considered for the non isothermal situations you have uh, uh, already uh, we have discussed uh, that when we talk about the uh, isothermal system in that case you have uh, the dynamic similarity criterion solely to be uh, you know taken into account, but when we talk about the non isothermal situations in those situations uh, what we see is that uh, you will have to have the thermal similarity you have to other you have other uh, you know uh, non dimensional numbers coming into picture and uh, they also that condition also need to be met uh, you know uh, in those uh, situations. So, uh, you know uh, what we see is that uh, uh, normally uh, what we uh, uh, see that when we uh, talk about the uh, fraud number. So, uh, it is a uh, function of the velocity and length. So, you, you know that uh, the fraud number which is nothing but the ratio of the inertial to the uh, you know uh, uh, the gravitational force. So, you will have the uh, velocity and length uh, you will, will be uh, there and uh, you will have the thermophysical properties which are uh, there like uh, velocity or density. So, uh, you know uh, so, uh, they are expected to exert a lot of uh, you know effect uh, you know uh, on, on the flow which is uh, fraud dominated. So, so that is why uh, you know we what we see 
is that uh, you know that any liquid in principle uh, can be used to represent this uh, molten steel flow in that uh, froth dominated uh, flow regime. Now, uh, many a times uh, as, as you have discussed that uh, uh, we are taking the water as the uh, the most acceptable uh, you know, working fluid. So, uh, we what we do is uh, we do the scaling and then uh, uh, you know uh, we do uh, do make the uh, models the physical models based on those uh, scaling factors. So, uh, for example, uh, you know if you see that uh, you may be uh, having the uh, you know uh, situation like uh, you, you are told that uh, uh, you are to make uh, a physical model and you, you are given the uh, scale factor also. So, suppose uh, you are given the uh, scale factor uh, and you are you are going to make a 1 is to 3 model. So, 1 is to 3 means 0 0.33 is the uh, scaling. So, suppose uh, you have uh, you have to make uh, one um, you know uh, industrial uh, started ladle. So, for the ladle if uh, you know if the for the, the that industrial size ladle you know if the height of the ladle is uh, given as uh, 3.1 meter. Similarly, if your uh, uh, you know filled liquid depth so uh, that is uh, uh, given as uh, suppose say 2.7 meter. So, that will be total height is 3.1 and the, um, the height up to which the liquid has been filled that is your 2.7 uh, meter. Then if you say it is given that if it die at the base it is uh, given as 3.58 meter. Similarly, uh, dia at the top. So, it is uh, given as uh, the 4 meter. So, and then you have the uh, gas flow rate. So, that is in, in case of uh, that is Newton meter cube per second and that is given as uh, 1.1 into 10 to the power minus 2. Then you have a porous plug dia which is uh, uh, there uh, in this case. So, that is given as uh, you know, 140 you know and uh, mm. So, this is in, in uh, terms of millimeter and also you have a dimensionless plug location porous plug location. So, that is 2 by 3 r. So, uh, now if you uh, talk about uh, uh, the making the model in that case if you take the scaling factors so you can have the, uh, the uh, you know height as height of the uh, model uh, ladder. It, it will be uh, something like uh, you will have uh, lambda into h prototype. So, it will be 0.33 multiplied by 3.10. So, it will be uh, so uh, you will have uh, um, or 1 by 3 you can have or if you multiply with point, uh, uh, 3.1 into uh, 0.33. So, uh, it will be uh, 1.023 something like meter. So, if you go to the uh, diameter of the uh, diameter at the base of the model. So, you will calculate as uh, uh, again uh, lambda into diameter of the prototype at, at the base. So, diameter at the uh, base of the prototype is given as 3.58. So, it will be 0 0.33 into 3.58. So, it will be 1.18 meter. Similarly, uh, you will have um, calculation of other uh, you know parameters like uh, you have the diameter at the uh, top of the model. It will be uh, lambda into diameter of top at of the uh, prototype. So, diameter at the top of the prototype uh, will be 4 meters, so it will be 0.33 multiplied by 4, so it will be 1.32 meter. 
Similarly, uh, the liquid filled uh, in the uh, up to white uh, up to what height in the model it will be again lambda times liquid filled for the prototype. So, this way uh, you can calculate. So, it will be liquid filled is up to the um, height of 2.7. So, it will be 0 0.33 into 2.7. So, it will be 0 0.891 meter. So, this way uh, you can have uh, uh, the uh, value of these uh, model. What you see that in this case the, uh, the location will be still maintained at 2 by 3 r because you are anyway uh, changing. However, uh, the uh, this porous prog uh, uh, this diameter. So, the uh, you know uh, this uh, this need not be uh, changed because the uh, this is basically uh, you know uh, uh, this dimension uh, diameter of that uh, injection uh, gas injection device that need not be changed because uh, you know uh, what happens that these stirred ladles are normally the potential energy driven. So, uh, we can have the their uh, uh, you know value as the uh, same one and uh, what you can uh, see is that you can have the uh, calculation of uh, the uh, you know uh, uh, fraud similarity. So, you can have uh, the uh, fraud similarity criteria and, and you can uh, see that how they are matching. So, that is the use of these uh, scaling factors in uh, finding and if you uh, try to have the uh, value of uh, you know uh, other parameters also you can calculate like you can calculate for the uh, you know uh, q also. So, you that also can be calculated and even the isothermal and non isothermal uh, you know conditions may also be uh, taken into account. So, so, this way the use of the scaling factors is there in the case of uh, modeling. Now, uh, coming to uh, the uh, limitation of uh, the uh, aqueous modeling. So, uh, now there are certain limitations to this uh, water modeling also, uh, because uh, many a times we are taking. So, uh, as we discussed that uh, um, uh, on many accounts uh, we uh, have to have certain uh, compromises. So, uh, small scale factor uh, flow idealization in terms of fraud number, Prandtl number difference uh, between water and liquid steel ETC are uh, inherent in case of water modeling and uh, create uh, the uncertainties. Because if you look at uh, the uh, physical properties of uh, water and the steel, so you will have the uh, differences in uh, uh, these uh, number values and uh, they are going to inherently cause uh, uh, certain kind of uh, uh, uncertainties uh, in the case of uh, aqueous modeling when we are taking water as uh, the uh, working fluid. Inability to realistically represent the multi-phase nature of a steel making uh, system. So, as we see that uh, when we talk about the uh, uh, you know steel making system. So, what we see there that you have the molten steel uh, at, at the bottom and then you will have the uh, presence of uh, the slag and, and then uh, you have the air also and they will be interacting. So, you they will have interfaces in between them. So, it is basically uh, a, a multi phase uh, system kind of uh, uh, you know uh, environment which is there. Now, you cannot realistically you cannot uh, uh, go very close to the actual system because it is very difficult to have the similar kind of system because that is uh, at a very high temperature where you will have the molten steel and steel and then above the steel you will have the molten slag. So, uh, you know you cannot realistically represent these uh, uh, you know multi phase uh, nature of the steel making system in a very realistic manner. So, that is uh, basically one challenge which is there or, or one uh, you know concern. So, uh, that is the limitation. So, many people have tried to even uh, you know uh, take into consideration uh, you know uh, things like uh, uh, you give uh, certain uh, wood floor or so 
at the uh, uh, you know at the surface of the water. So, that may represent uh, you know the slag which is there in the uh, steel making uh, vessel like Tundis or Ladle, but that is not the uh, true representation that will not truly represent the, the situation which will be there inside the uh, Tundis. So, that uh, uh, becomes uh, you know uh, a challenge uh, in the case of uh, uh, the uh, aqueous modeling. In many uh, water model investigations, the presence of an upper slag phase is entirely ignored. So, what we do uh, normally that uh, we are ignoring this uh, slag level. So, when we are uh, going for the uh, solution, because when we do the physical modeling, so, based on the physical uh, modeling results and we also, uh, so these results are used to validate uh, first and then we try to have the results from the numerical investigation. Now, uh, as in the normal case, uh, you will have uh, the, the slag present uh, above the molten steel and that is uh, basically uh, ignored in, in, in most of the uh, cases. So, uh, so, ignoring uh, this uh, slag phase uh, is the only way by which you can uh, you know ease the uh, computational method uh, or, or solution methodology when you are uh, modeling through the numerical um, you know means. So, uh, so, so, in many water modeling because you do not have actually uh, that kind of uh, you know uh, material which should represent uh, in fact the slag which would uh, very much replicate uh, the kind of uh, uh, you know uh, event or, or the kind of activity which is uh, you know uh, done by the slag at the uh, top level of the uh, steel. So, that is uh, many investigators have tried to do it through the use of either the uh, you know wood flowers or so. But then, in most of the cases, we uh, try to ignore it. So, so that uh, certainly leads to certain kind of error, uh, and that is uh, one of the uh, limitation of uh, this uh, aqueous modeling, which is uh, seen. Uh, you know, uh, which is uh, still uh, uh, researchers are trying to have the uh, you know. Uh, they have uh, cases by which they can uh, replicate these uh, you know slag flow also uh, slag can be taken into account. Uh, so, uh, that is uh, one challenge. Physical processes occurring in a high temperature steel making system involving metal slag gas are impossible to be recreated in water models. So, as we discussed that it is very difficult to have the recreation of that system which is in actual present in the steel making case like you have the uh, metal then you have the slag and also you have the gas. So, it becomes a three phase kind of system which is uh, nothing but the, uh, the multi phase system and you cannot uh, make uh, in water models because uh, you know uh, the, the gas system is anyway impossible uh, you know uh, in, in such cases. So, that is uh, becoming one of the uh, uh, you know limitation of the, uh, the aqueous modeling. You have uh, results of actual steel making process drawn solely from water model studies with or without buoyant, for, uh, buoyant uh, phase are likely to be largely inadequate. So, many a times we go for the isothermal analysis we are not taking the uh, thermal analysis into account because uh, when we if we talk about the actual system. Uh, so, when the ladle basically is suppose ladle when ladle is there is ladle change over the steel which uh, the other ladle has given or the temperature which is there of the steel in the tundis and the steel temperature of the coming ladle they may be entirely different and uh, that may result into the buoyancy forces. And these buoyancy forces they affect the uh, fluid flow which occurs inside the uh, vessel. So, uh, when we are talking about the water modeling, so in most of the cases we, uh, we, we talk about the isothermal analysis 
and in those cases we are neglecting these uh, buoyancy forces and uh, that may not be truly representing the kind of phenomena which is uh, going uh, you know to take place inside the tundis. So, that is another you know limitation uh, of uh, this uh, water modeling uh, when we do uh, in the case of uh, the these, uh, these aqueous uh, modeling. So, uh, these are uh, the limitations in the case of uh, uh, water modeling. So, uh, introduction to the uh, experimental techniques which are uh, you know used to study uh, uh, you know in the aqueous uh, modeling and uh, uh, you have many experimental uh, techniques which are used for uh, studying uh, these uh, uh, flow modeling is the uh, flow visualization then you have measurement of velocity you have turbulence and uh, phases in uh, two phase flows and then you have uh, uh, heat and uh, mass transport. So, these are the things which we need to uh, study using the experimental techniques. So, if you come to the uh, flow visualization, so uh, you know what happens that uh, in, the, in the flow visualization it will be providing you the snapshot of the flow field and it will be representing uh, a useful tool for studying the instantaneous flow characteristics. So, now what we do is that we normally make uh, the, the uh, Tundis model or the ladle model using a uh, perspex sheet which is uh, transparent. So, that you can uh, visualize the uh, flow and uh, what we do is normally we, uh, uh, we put the uh, tracer. So, uh, and in the tracer method is most widely used and uh, for that there are uh, different uh, procedures. So, uh, you have uh, uh, the different way. So, one is the injection method. So, what we do do is that uh, in this case we inject certain tracer and this tracer once injected we, it will go and it will be dispersed inside the, uh, the vessel. So, that vessel is uh, uh, you know uh, either it is tundis or ladle. So, it will be going inside and it will uh, uh, you know disperse will diffuse inside the tundis and its concentration will be monitored uh, you know at, at different points inside the vessel or at the outlet of the vessel or the at the tundis or the ladle. So, uh, normally when we uh, talk about the uh, you know this uh, injection method. So, in that we use certain tracer and this uh, you know tracer is normally a die. So, that is uh, you know this uh, we, we use a tracer or a die. So, this typically uh, it is a die that is uh, KMNO4. So, this is uh, KMNO4 uh, solution or you have uh, you know uh, other uh, you know neutral kind of uh, buoyant uh, fine particles which are used as the uh, you know these uh, tracer particles. So, they will be uh, you know uh, it, it may be silver coated uh, you know uh, uh, glass bubbles also. So, that uh, will be uh, going into it and they will be they will be floating. So, uh, the, they will be injected into the uh, flow and then they are uh, uh, you know flow is observed. So, uh, uh, and uh, you know uh, that is uh, being uh, traced. Then you have the uh, suspension method. So, here uh, you will have uh, the uh, uh, suitable uh, uh, you know uh, suspended particle is there. So, you will have a suitable tracers uh, like small pieces of silk. So, its movement will be you know uh, uh, traced. So, that is also another one by suspension you can have its trace. So, by that you can have uh, 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 the study of the uh, flow. So, um, apart from that uh, you will have uh, the uh, different flow measurement devices are applied to measure the velocity and turbulence and in that you have a petrol tube, you have hot wire anemometer, laser Doppler velocimeter. PIV is uh, very much used in the case of physical modeling where you try to uh, have the uh, 
you know uh, velocity profile at certain section. So, drag probe. So, these are the different you know uh, uh, ways by which you measure these uh, uh, you know velocity and the flow profile. So, this is how your velocity and turbulence and PIV setup uh, looks like. So, in that case you find the uh, you know uh, the velocity profiles inside the vessel. So, uh, this is about uh, the uh, you know physical modeling aspects the issues and challenges with that and when we uh, talk about the uh, case studies and when we talk about other aspects then we will have uh, further uh, you know discussion about these topics and we will have uh, more clarity in our uh, you know understanding. Thank you very much.